So my research assistant, Matt James, made a cool new plugin that's a lot like my Pattern Matrix Builder plugin, but this one doesn't require a pattern matrix. It will automatically build the CFA for you. All you have to do is load your data, as you normally would, just select your data file, and then go to Plugins, CFA Auto Modeler. It's going to think for just a sec, and then it will pop up with a table of all the variables in your model, which you can then select to put in the CFA. Unfortunately, the tools we have to work with in the Amos development area don't allow for a very user-friendly table. So you can't click and then hold shift and click down here. That doesn't work. You just have to click them individually or toggle all on or off. Uh, let's say if we have most of our variables we want included, I would toggle them all on and then single click the ones I don't want to be included in the, in the CFA. Now there is a caveat. Let me show you this running real quick. Here's the model, and the variables are automatically named and grouped based on the observed items' names. So notice, if I zoom in here, skill acquisition becomes skill ac right here. Social desirability, social desirability. So it just takes that first portion of the name and makes that the latent variable name. Now, if you already have variables named that in your data set, you want to rename them so that the plugin doesn't throw an error. Also, this plugin assumes that all the variables that belong together on a latent factor have common names. For example, all of these have the beginning portion that is the same. Now it can be of any length. It could be F1, F2, F3, F4, as long as those Fs all belong together. You can have another one that's Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, or of any numbers. So this assumption is that the beginning part is made of letters and is common amongst groups of items that belong to a single factor, and the ending ends in a number. There doesn't have to be an underscore, but if you don't want to break it, try to match this format pretty closely. Well, that's it. I hope that's helpful. I hope that saves you some time and some human error and makes your statistical journey just a little bit less painful. Oh, and if you want to find this, it's just in the same place as all of my other plugins over on the stat wiki. Over here on the plugins page, click on the plugins and estimates folder and you'll find it in the version 26 and higher folder. I haven't tested it on anything other than 26. Hopefully it works.